Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video where today we're going to go over something in here that blew my mind and I think is a good lesson for anyone who writes, paints, anything, like any artist out there. Just a little lesson that shook me a bit. I'm going to read to you one little bit here, and this is written by Alexandra Colossa, which is kind of one of the coolest last names I've ever heard in my life. Okay, so this is the first paragraph of this book. This is actually, I wasn't going to read this part, but this is actually a really cool thing to think about and ask yourself if you're writing, if your art, if whatever you do, if this is true for you. Like almost no other artist, he understood how to combine his personality and his art into a single entity. Do you do that? Do I do that? Do we do that? I think I probably used to do that more than I do now. But at the same time, I've been I've been lost. So, I think things are getting better now. But let me know down below. Do you do that? Do you think it's possible for you to do that? <sighs> let me see. And if you do do that, yes, I do, dude. Tell us how you do that. So people who want to do that but don't know how to do that could possibly do that. His artistic trademark is the line. Formally reduced to its essentials. Which spreads out in many ways within the restricted area of the picture and takes proper account of its proportions and it is always a continuous line guided by the principle of chance becoming an outline then a figure and finally a symbol okay obviously from that piece right there you could tell what they're talking about but so my question to you is or let, let me say it like this when i write Poetry, especially. Prose, to an extent, but poetry especially. Um, the artistic trademark is the line, okay? Like, every line needs to matter. It needs to be there in order for the next line to come. It's not throwaway lines, okay? Um, and it's formally reduced to its essentials, I simplify and reduce and reduce and reduce the fuck out of shit. Usually before I even like put pen to paper. Like when I'm wanting to come up with something, I will like fragment it down to where it is the most understandable but says the most with as few of words possible. Now after my poem's done, um, I'm not a big, I'm not a heavy editor, but I will go back. And if I notice that something's clunky and there's a lot of extra words that don't need to be there, I will ditch words. I will gut. Okay. But I, I hardly ever rewrite. I've done it a couple times and hated it and was like really upset with what I did. So with that said, with my art, with my paintings, okay. Usually, I don't think about those at all. I just do whatever the fuck I want to do. And whatever happens, happens. But, I will say, the paintings that I like the most are the ones that I thought about before doing them. And are the ones that aren't very busy. That are super, super simple. You know, whether it's the Caterpillar one... Or, um, like, the fireworks one. The fireworks one's probably the busiest one that I like. But, like, even, like, the like the smoke worm thing. 
um, the elephant one. Like, I don't know if I'm actually going to put these up, but I, I'll show you. The ones that I have made that are the simplest ones that I've done are my favorites. The ones that are really busy and have layer upon layer upon layer upon layer. I don't even really care about those. Like, I, I'm like, ugh, like, whatever. So it's interesting because I never really thought to consciously paint. Whenever I paint and I'm thinking about painting, it's, I need a release and I just need to explode, create something without thinking about fucking anything. And that has really been helpful for me. And I appreciate that. But the fact that I do like my paintings better when I actually do think about them and I use the same concept that I use with my writing, that I use with my painting, it, um, it, it just made me think. And after reading that, I ended up painting that X picture right there. And that's like one of my favorite paintings so far. Like, I love that painting. Like, let me see. Um, the pink and yellow one up there, I like a lot too. What else do we got here? Oh, that blue one and stuff. That one's kind of cool. That That's layered, but like it wasn't. But then the one behind the Bud Light can right there, that's um, a pen and ink or just like marker. And that was me working on cross hatching more than anything else. Yeah, that one was really simple. And I went in knowing what I was going to make. So yeah, so this is just, it's, it's a very, I, I don't want to say bizarre thing, but I never dreamt of having my physical medium art be something that I was conscious about. But even like Bunny's cover for Monsters in the Mouth, like I did that for Bunny. And that one I think is still really simple, but it's like that was like talked about and like we figured out that painting you know doing something simple and even massacre like from the one man massacre cover that was really simple and i knew what i was doing when i did it the i got caught using the women's restroom at zanku in downtown la that painting um is madness and crazy but it was exactly what i wanted it to be like that was like exactly what that was like I'm like I have this yellow canvas and I'm gonna put my anxiety through this black ink from getting caught using the women's restroom at Zanku in downtown LA you know what I'm saying and it became I don't know talking about painting is very weird for me basically what I'm trying to get at guys is that when you are reducing your work intentionally amazing things happen so don't discount that okay whether it's your writing or painting plain vanilla you know it's a good flavor people like it just joking i don't know if people like it i'm sure they do it's been around for a long time anyway join the anarchy crew down below and get in on all of our shit if you want to do mentorship or anything like that, just let me know and we can do that. But it's all down below. Live streams every day, Monday through Friday, for members. Also, buy my books, my newest book, Shit Poems. Link down below. Type hard, everybody, and I will talk to you all later.